So back at it. Um, I read an article earlier today. Um, I'm not gonna even try to attempt to say the kid's name because I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, I read an article today about a black boy in Brazil who was murdered by police in Brazil, right? Now, excuse me, that's bad enough. This is all right after what just happened to George Lloyd, a black, excuse me, a black boy in uh, Brazil got murdered by police, right? 70 bullets were shot into this 14 year old black boy. I, I couldn't even finish, finish reading the article. So if I'm not getting the entire, you know, details or whatever, fine. I don't care. There's no reason that you need to shoot 70 bullets into a 14 year old boy or girl there is no reason but from what i read apparently these cops i don't know if they were black cops or whatever i know brazil is a very he heavily melanated country i don't care what race the, the cops were at the end of the day there's crooked black cops there's crooked white cops there's crooked crooked asian cops there's crooked non-black hispanic cops whatever they shot this boy with 70 bullets talking about they were chasing some drug raid. So I don't know if if their excuse is he got in the way. Even if that's your excuse, 70 bullets? How? Why? That makes no sense. But once again, you you y'all are surprised that we're out here turning up or that some of, some of us are upset, that some of us are afraid. These are our children. That's where I draw the line. It's one thing to be out here slaughtering black men and black women, that's bad enough. That that should have been the, like it. Y'all have been continuously out here beating black girls on video at, at pool parties for no reason. Y'all did a drive-by on Tamir Rice a, a few years ago. He was only about 12 years old. Now you got a 14-year-old black boy in a whole other country dealing with the same racist, anti-black system. This is worldwide. I have a I have a nephew that is 14 years old. I will be damned. Okay? These are our children. All right? They're out here slaughtering us because we are black, because we are the original people. I'm not saying we're superior. I'm talking historical facts. We are the original people. We ain't did nothing to nobody on that scale. The times where we've so-called conquered other uh, people, we helped y'all out. So, and what do we get in return? Nothing but pain. But you want to tell us to just pray it away or to just not do nothing? But y'all want to celebrate all these holidays that are about genocide and war, Thanksgiving, all this type of stuff, and Fourth of July, all this type of stuff? But you want to tell us that something is wrong with us for responding the way that we're, we're doing now after all of these years, all of this crap that we've been going through? Really? Are you are you serious right now? They're out here killing 14 year old children. 70 bullets. Think about that. 70 bullets. Count that. Like, think just if you had a gun, you put I don't feel I'm assuming it was an automatic rifle, but still 70 bullets. And we aren't supposed to just, we're supposed to just ignore this. Why? Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, man. Like, for real. And listen, to you white folks that have children, guess what? They ain't safe either. They might be more safe than our children because we're out here getting slaughtered dis disproportionately, excuse me. But white people are already getting brutalized by the, by the cops too. So y'all be trying to low-key defend them, understand that, God forbid, but understand that your white child could be next. While y'all over here messing around trying to low-key defend these demons, understand that your, your child could be next. Your Asian child, your non-black Hispanic child, your so-called Middle Eastern child, your white child could be next. But when it's our children, when it's our, you know, men and women, we're supposed to just deal with it? No. I draw the line at children. I should draw the line just period, but at children, are you serious? And you want us to just, oh, don't, don't burn down buildings though. At okay. So what, so what's the right way then, huh? To just stay in our house and be, and be quarantined. Cause you know, once again, this seed virus that's going on just to stay quarantined and ignore it like y'all do.
because it's not affecting y'all as much as far as racism and police brutality and everything else. Really? When we, we want to tell our people uh, how to come together and be, be liberated mentally, physically, economically, and, and to practice group economics like everybody else does. All of a sudden, it's a problem. We want to even just talk about it. It's a problem. That is crazy. Really look at yourself. And if you're not like this, I'm not talking about you. If it doesn't, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But guess what? You probably know somebody that fits this description. Check them. If you want to know how to help? Donate to black businesses. Donate to these families that are here suffering. And check your uh, 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 non-black peers. Okay? I'm out.